and welcome back to the Living Offset vlog. I'm going through the chapter, chapter nine, on the requirement of society to change its behavior. Because if it doesn't change its behavior, uh, emissions will continue to be dumped into the atmosphere and we're in danger of overheating. So the second strain of knowledge that has shifted over to the population is that we categorize emissions into lifestyle emissions. So for instance, in Ireland, the emissions per capita is about 13.1 tonnes. So 13.1 tonnes is broken into, I think it's nine different categories. And these would start with recreational and leisure, and then you have your space heating, and then your food and catering, and then so on, clothes, so on, so on. And this is very important as it allows people to know the lifestyle activities with the greatest emission profile. So some of these can be changed with no effect. Well, there is an effect, you'll end up with more money in your pocket. But some of these uh, lifestyle habits can be changed with the result of more money in your pocket and less emissions going into the atmosphere. So this is very important. And as I believe and said in the last vlog, I think it's the really standout feature of Living Offset that will help it really take off due to the fact that we're targeting uh, a psychological shift through the supply of knowledge to populations and then they can make the changes because everyone wants to change. It's very apparent to me that people are serious about climate change, want to take action but there's nothing really they can do. So Living Offset's about to change all that and with these knowledge transfers, the carbon footprints allowing on an individual good and service basis what the carbon footprint is it or the hidden, the hidden cost natural capital, people call it, 